Naitwa Neli Wanjiro, ninaishi hapa Keko Nyoki Ward. Na siku ya leo tumekuja kutafuta basad nikiwa mmoja wa wale tuko wengi sana. Na kwa hakika tumekuja tukiwa na matumaini kwa sababu uchumi wa, wa wakati huu ni mgumu sana. Ukiangalia tumetoka wakati wa kiagasi, hakuna pesa mfukoni. Na tunaomba hii serikali ituangalie kama vile walituambia tuta download kwa nini kwa digital iwe na uasi kabisa. Na ni matumaini yangu itakuwa na uasi kwa sababu hata saa hii wakati tunaendelea kupeana hii kusubmit hizi forms tunasifanya through digital kwa system tunaweka kwa system kwa hivyo ile mlango ya nyuma ilikuwa inapito inaonekana sasa imekomeshwa kabisa today we are having a verification exercise for the bursary of the year 2022-2023 um, as you all know that uh, the government have actually delayed on disbursement of bursaries or uh, money for CDF during the challenge because of the challenges that are uh, tumekuwa nazo kwa ile regime ingine. lakini uh, leo kwa narrow kist tumekuwa na verification exercise for secondary and tertiary uh, colleges that is uh, college na universities both of them we are doing in the same day uh, we decided to go digital because uh, of uh, two issues one we don't want to do we want to go paperless such that uh, you know when you get a lot of papers uh, sometimes it disappears and people wanna umia. so we decided because everybody uh, has a phone and uh, can apply bursary through the phone akichunga akiwa mtaani akifanya biashara yake without even going to anybody that person can access the bursary form with a symbol hata ile kamuli kamuizi she can she can access uh, the bursary form anajijazia and then she sends back to us today it passes through the chief first the chief verify whether this uh, uh, kid or this uh, parent is from his sub location uh, because we have actually identified even the village where that person come from which sub location the location that they come from even up to the old level and we the challenge today we have we have 9000 applicants is the highest number we have ever got uh, 7000 for uh, secondary and 2000 for universities i think uh, uh, since i have become an mp uh, the rise of education in narokis have actually tremendously grown we are from from 3000 where all of them were 3000 initially in 2013 to 9000 at the moment kwa majina yangu ni Bernard Punywa kutoka Keko Nyoke ward uh, na kweli kuongea kuhusu basari hii ya mheshimiwa Ken ama Narok East sisi tume benefit kutoka Ken na ingie kiti vile tu Ken na liingia kiti sisi tulipata faida kubwa sana kwa sababu basari eh, mheshimiwa hakisikia tu watoto wamekaa nyumbani hataki anahakikisha kwamba watoto wamesoma na wanahakikisha kwamba hawa watoto wame benefit na hii eh, basari ukijaribu kuona eh, tumepata faida sana kwa sababu kuna mafamilia wengi ambaye mheshimiwa Ken ana anasomesha watoto kuhusu basari kupitia basari hii na watoto wakiwa shule wame benefit hata watoto wenyewe wacha wazazi watoto wenyewe wamefurahia basari hii kwa sababu hakuna mtu ambaye hapati basari katika Narok East wale ambao hawajapatia yeye kura wale ambao wamapatia wote all resident from Narok East wamepata basari kwa hiyo sisi tunasema tunashukuru mheshimiwa Ken na tunashukuru hiyo komiti ya eh, CDF kwa sababu tume benefit hii basari tangu since 2013 after date tunapata basari equally wakisema mwaka hii financial hii watoto wote wa secondary watapata 5k ama A10 sisi wote tunapata kwa hiyo generally tunashukuru kama resident wa Keko wa, wa Narok East tunashukuru mheshimiwa Ken amefanya kazi ya maana sana